Welcome back. The G20 may be over, but the eyes of the world are still on India, especially because Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister Mohammed bin Salman, or MBS as he's known, who was invited as a guest, extended his stay for a state visit to India today. Delhi gave the highest level diplomatic welcome for Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, with Saudi flags adorning the majestic Raisina Hills. There you have it. While Prime Minister Modi and MBS discuss trade, economy, defense, and cultural cooperation, the world noted how Prime Minister Modi summed up the deepening ties between the two countries. He said, and I quote, for India, Saudi Arabia counts as one of its closest and biggest strategic partners. India and Saudi Arabia's partnership is crucial for stability, for welfare of the region and the world. भारत के लिए सऊदी अरब हमारे सबसे महत्वपूर्ण स्ट्रेटजिक पार्टनर में से एक है विश्व की दो बड़ी और तेज गति से बढ़ने वाली अर्थव्यवस्थाओं के रूप में हमारा आपसी सहयोग पूरे क्षेत्र की शांति और स्थिरता के लिए महत्वपूर्ण है हिज रॉयल हाइनेस के साथ बैठक के हमने हमारी करीबी साझेदारी को नेक्स्ट लेवल पर ले जाने के लिए कई इनिशिएटिव की पहचान की है Now, the meeting between Prime Minister Modi and MBS marked a crucial moment in the bilateral relations of the two countries as it inaugurated the India-Saudi Arabia Strategic Partnership Council. Uh, uh, and I congratulate you on the uh, uh, management of the G20 summit and the initiatives uh, achieved, including the economic corridor linking uh, the Middle East, India and uh, Europe, which require that we work diligently in order to create it into a reality. Uh, the uh, uh, Indians in Saudi Arabia had a large part in the economic uh, growth of Saudi Arabia. Today, they are 7 percent of the population of Saudi Arabia, and we consider them to be a part of uh, Saudi Arabia. We uh, watch uh, and take care of them like we take care of our own citizens. Saudi Arabia and India have been moving towards very important strategic linkages. For one, on Saturday at the G20, India and Saudi Arabia, along with the US and EU, unveiled an alternative to China's Belt and Road Initiative. The mega infrastructure plan is expected to act as a counter to China's BRI that has fueled concerns about Beijing's expansive footprint across at least three continents. It's being called a game changer. The India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor looks to reshape the trade route between the Gulf, Europe, South Asia, connecting them by rail and by sea linkages as well. Economic corridor, um, the two sides, uh, as I mentioned, uh, recognize this as one of the major outcomes of uh, the G20. It is one of the biggest uh, uh, such uh, plurilateral, uh, uh, you know, um, agreement you could think of connecting several countries. So uh, it is, I'm sure it is not, uh, uh, we cannot, uh, uh, you know, you are putting this thing is it against uh, some country or else that we don't see it. It is actually basically uh, connecting our uh, like-minded partners partner countries and in different geographic zones, which is extremely important, Asia with Middle East and Europe, and such kind of thing. And you know, if you are reading the press and if you have read the, uh, uh, what has come up also in, in, in our own press releases and other things, you realize the, uh, the dimension of it. So it is, uh, it is something which we are all looking forward to. And uh, it would need uh, um, you know, close coordination and work with all the partner countries in that. So how and why has India-Saudi Arabia ties grown in the last few years? Well, let's rewind to 2019 when Prime Minister Modi broke with convention to hug Saudi Crown Prince MBS. Now, that move had triggered quite a storm. One of the reasons was Saudi Arabia's proximity to Pakistan. The bilateral relations were boosted by Prime Minister Narendra Modi's trips to Saudi Arabia, first in 2016 and then again in 2019. As well, as well as by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's trip to India in the same year. Cut to 2023. The camaraderie has only grown. 
the warmth is evident in the welcome. Four years later, Saudi Arabia has grown much closer to India, something that has made Pakistan wary. In fact, Pakistan, Twitter or X went into quite a meltdown when the India-Middle East-Europe economic corridor was announced. The government-to-government -government relations have strengthened also on the back of the good rapport that Prime Minister Modi and MBS seem to share. As some experts say, both Prime Minister Modi and MBS share a common goal to make their countries more contemporary and to diversify beyond dependence on oil alone. Let's also not forget the deep connect that exists between the two countries historically by virtue of the fact that 2.4 million Indians live and work in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia also facilitates Hajj pilgrimage of over 1,75,000 Indians every year. Of course, there's oil. Saudi Arabia is the world's second largest producer of oil. India needs the oil. In fact, as per latest reports, India's crude imports from Saudi Arabia rebounded by 60% month on month in August. But there is much more than oil to the relationship. Mr. Prabhu Dayal is a former ambassador. He's joining us on the broadcast, sir. Good to see you here on Mirror Now. As you see these pictures, uh, Prabhu Dayal, uh, uh, would you say that this relationship is more than just oil? It has grown more than just oil. And both Saudi Arabia and India, MBS and Prime Minister Modi have invested a lot in this relationship. Well, Shreya, first of all, thank you for having me on your show. And the subject which you have chosen to discuss with me is indeed very important. Saudi Arabia's relations with India are undergoing a huge transformation. Let me mention that earlier, Saudi Arabia used to be rather conservative and inward-looking. And India's relations with the kingdom of Saudi Arabia were also influenced by Pakistan's close relationship with that country. However, things have changed. Uh, as you mentioned, Crown Prince uh, Mohammed bin Salman visited India in 2019, and he's come on a second state visit now. Now, let me mention that ever since MBS, as he's known, became the Crown Prince and the de facto ruler in 2017, he has begun to introduced reforms in Saudi Arabia, and he has changed the way the Saudi authorities look at other countries. It, this factor has been very helpful in the development of closer relations with India. Now, on his part, Prime Minister Modi has also made great efforts to strengthen India's relations with all the Gulf countries, including, of course, Saudi Arabia, because as you said in your introductory remarks, there are important factors for us. Trade, oil imports, the huge Indian diaspora. These are factors which we cannot overlook. As you said, uh, there are 2.4 or in fact more, 2.5 million Indians in Saudi Arabia. And if you look at the Gulf as such, mm. there are about 8.9 million Indians, and that constitutes about 66% of the NRIs. So I cannot overemphasize the importance of that region for us with such a huge population. And uh, okay. many of them are humble workers. They send remittances to India, but they have to be looked after. And when the government of India is able to maintain a close relationship at the highest levels, with the government of Saudi Arabia or with the government of UAE, for instance, then looking after the Indian diaspora becomes much easier. So it is something that our people mm. need in terms of assistance, a closer relationship. But as I said, uh, things were not changing mm. in our favor till MBS became the crown prince. And, but he's forward-looking, he's introducing reforms, and he is trying to transform the very nature of Saudi society. 
And that is where a closer relationship with India comes in. As you pointed out yesterday, uh, there was this momentous signing of the India, Middle East, East and, and European economic corridor. And not only was Saudi Arabia there, but the UAE also. And uh, along with the United States and the European countries who were present, this could signal something in the nature of a game changer. Uh, there are lots of uh, okay. analysts who feel that this could be an answer to China's BRI. And why not? China is trying to develop the BRI so that its exports are facilitated. And India is now becoming increasingly an important manufacturing hub. So we also need mm. connectivity. And what better way to reach mm. European and Western destinations than through the Gulf Peninsula? So there is a lot of forward thinking which so, is involved. So and I must credit the uh, Prime Minister of India and his team mm. for having thought of can this I, sort of Mr. Dayal, can I project. just quickly ask you a question here? Yes. Can I quickly ask you a question here? The fact is, we are, we are talking about uh, the, uh, you know, the India, Saudi, UAE, EU corridor that has been announced as a rival uh, to the BRI. But the fact is that the Saudis and the Chinese share a very close strategic alliance as well. Uh, you, you're cooperating in the energy sector, cooperating in the finance sector. In fact, uh, there are numerous deals that have been signed as part of the Belt and Road Initiative as well. True. But... At the same time, the Saudis are looking at India also as a country with which they should strengthen mm. their relationship. Let me not uh, uh, let us not overlook the fact that India now is Saudi Arabia's second largest trading partner, and that Saudi Arabia is India's fourth largest trading partner. So the economic relationship is growing from strength to strength, and why not take it further? And in that context, okay. the India, Middle East, Europe uh, economic corridor is something which is forward-looking. We are trying to look 10, 15 okay. years ahead and see what our needs will be and how we meet these needs. So I think this is quite rightly being described okay. as a game changer. At the same time, the bilateral relationship is indeed very, very important. And in that context, I think the meeting that uh, was held between the Prime Minister and uh, the Saudi Crown Prince, in which several agreements and memorandums of understanding were signed, indicates the direction in which the relationship is proceeding. Uh, we all know that uh, all right. uh, in okay. 2019, during Prime Minister Modi's visit to Saudi Arabia, the Indo-Saudi Strategic Partnership Council was established. Now, what is this council? Everyone must understand the importance of this council because it operates through two ministerial committees, one focused on political, security, mm. social and cultural cooperation, and the other one, uh, which is intending to foster deeper economic uh, cooperation. So there is the okay. concept of developing okay. a more broad-based relationship, hmm. which is something that the strategic and Ambassador Council Dayan, is undertaking. As you very rightly now, put I've... it, both countries have invested much in this partnership. Uh, not just in 2019, but before 2019 as well. Uh, both Saudi Arabia and India have made investments. Both the Prime Minister and the Crown Prince have made investments in this relationship. Uh, and I think what we saw yesterday and what we saw today is a fruit of that investment. Uh, Ambassador Dayal, we leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much. On that note, I'm slipping into a quick break on the show. There's some more news on the other side. Do stay with us.